Frank back here. Today we're starting a new video series here on the channel called Flavor of the Day. Every day, noon Eastern time, we're going to have a new flavor. We're going to talk about it for a few minutes, show you flavor pairings, you know, statistics on it, uh, best uses, uh, percentages, you know, my personal opinions on it. It's all flavors that I have in my stash, so it's all stuff that you know I have. I can smell it, I can handle it, and you know, just a little something for a, especially for the new mixer out there, for a mixer who's been mixing for a while, for a you know, different perspective. Uh, maybe it's a flavor that you've had for a while and you just haven't haven't used. So that's what we're looking at here, and so I hope you guys like it. Something new I wanted to try, something a little different. And every day you're going to find a common theme for that week. So you're going to have five, five videos a week, five, sometimes maybe seven flavors, depending on what we're doing that week. You know, maybe two flavors on the same video comparing. And I say you'll find real quick that each flavor of the week of that week will have something in common. And today we're going to start all off and way I figured the way I started this off because I really wasn't sure where I wanted to start so I put every flavor in my flavor stash into a randomizer ran it three times and this is what we came up with right off the bat we have lemon from flavors express which I always thought was flavor express but it's lemon express fresh and it's lemon express as what Lumi likes to say so we're going to go down, we're going to go to ELR, we're going to talk about it and give you some stats on it and all that good stuff and wrap up the first one. Let's go everybody. All right, there we go. After some technical issues, of course, you're know, always going to have some technical issues when you do this kind of thing. All right, here it is. Lemon from Flavors Express. I have a 10 mil bottle. I'm saying average mixing quantity is one and a half percent. Uh, single flavor, medium is three percent. I'll go into some notes. The the hype is real. Review 2016. Let's see, yeah, Michelle Hughes says my favorite lemon, and at one percent, it's perfect. Also known as super concentrate lemon. Preferred single mix 1%. Uh, mix a lot says a natural, not wet or dry candyish lemon. It stays, doesn't fade. Not horror ship. That's about right. What everyone's got to say about here. It's an older flavor, so we're going to have this. Let's go back up. Close that. Let's see. Most commonly used with. Seen, seen mer FA meringue, super sweet, lemon Sicily, flavor West yellow cake, lemon meringue pie capella. I could see that one. Sweet tangerine, and capella orange bergamot from FA. I'm not familiar with that flavor. I think it's some kind of fruit. Uh, sugar cookie, biscotto. Yep, I can kind of see that. Let's see, what's the most popular recipe that has this flavor? Let's see, it goes all the way back to 2015. Lemon Heads from Flavor Chamber. Used it 6%. We got to remember, this is 2015. So 2015 was, you know, not the Addies we have now. So that one, unless you're using like a little mouth blowing device or something, you may not want to do that one. Uh, let's see, 2017. A good friend, Fresh Joe 3, used it in the zesty blueberry lemon curd cheesecake. Here he used it at a quarter of a percent. See, that's where I use it, quarter no, to about a half a percent to brighten up other flavors. Here he used it with lemon Sicily. And see, he has a cheesecake in there. He's got golden butter in there. He's got graham cracker. He's got juicy lemon. So he's got three lemons in there, and he's got some mar toasted marshmallows, some vanilla custard, some vanilla whipped cream. So yeah, I mean, this totally works. 
And he used the old blueberry, extra blueberry wild with some FA black currant. Which, you know, that, back in the day, that was, that was the main blueberry right there before VSO came out. Let's see what he did there. Very, very good. Let's see who tarted. This is his take on Dinner Lady's lemon tart. Here he used it a quarter percent as well with lemon meringue pie with lemon Sicily at three. So this is a lemon heavy mix. So that completely makes sense. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, Michelle used it a few times. Hippie used it. Uh, let's see, Vaping Trucker, Mike used it on his show. They used it at a half a percent with flavorless blueberry and shisha strawberry and some swirls, some sweetener. That's from his, uh, yep, from the developed beginner week. Totally get that. All right, you see Bill the Lemonade from Kind Ground, another awesome mixer. Now here he used it 2% with lemon Sicily and sour lemon. This is a you know, basically a build the lemonade. This is a very good, let's see, we've got plenty of note, I mean plenty of comments on it. And so there's you guys there, there's a good one right there. There's a good use at at a higher percentage. Let's say you can get over Bull City Flavor, or no, actually, well, you can get this at Flavor Jungle. I think it's like maybe two ninety nine. Yeah, it's about all. Let's see. Let's see, is there? You see it? I use it with some of this, but I prefer using this with strawberries. To be honest with you, at a quarter percent. With, you know, any strawberry, you're going to brighten it up. Let's go back up here. There we go. Let's say with any strawberry, you're going to brighten this up. And you're going to brighten up the strawberries. Any kind of red berries, raspberries, uh, boysenberries. If you're really trying to get it to really come out and really shine, that's where I prefer to use this flavor. Either this or F.A. Lemon Sicily, but we'll talk about that one on another day. And that's all we got. Let's see, we're going to be doing some editing on this video. Let's see, I ran a little long, but that's all good. So that's the first one. F.E. Lemon. And we'll see you again tomorrow, noon Eastern, for our next flavor. Till then, everybody. Be safe, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.